Здравствуйте, чё, товарищи. Let me fix this a little bit. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Sim City. And we've actually got, uh, or EA has figured out some of its shit. And we've got some people moving into our city here. We've got, uh, two other people, um, by the names of the guy we talked about last time, Kiwi Cookie 55 and Major Hardon SWR has also moved in and they've taken up two cities except for Kiwi has uh sorry yeah Kiwi has two cities and one of them is called How Do You Abandon and it's I, I'm gonna ask him to delete that but I'm guessing by the name he doesn't know how which it's not that hard you click abandon but um so but other than that though it's cool to have these two guys uh, move in, and we'll check on some of these cities here, which are probably uh, infinitely better than mine. We're going to go to Major Hardon City, which is Bolshevik Valley, which is uh, a, a pretty good name, all things considered. I know that's a podcast on NPR. I've never listened to it, though. I listen to Talk of the Nation a lot of the times, though. Talk of the Nation is great. I love the, the host. The host is awesome. Neil Conan is the man. He's like the nicest dude on the planet. But, uh, had yet another political fundraiser today. Having lots of those. Uh, lots of, lots of time is being spent in the realm of the politics. And it went really well. I was surprised how well, uh, it, it ended up coming. Um, we beat our estimated turnout. Turned out, uh, yeah, a bunch of people. And it's a it's a smaller town than mine. My town is called Penticton, and it's only got about thirty six thousand people. And uh, we went to another town nearby called Summerland, which uh, has even less. It has uh, about twelve thousand people. And of those twelve thousand people, we got a full ho full house to come and uh, check us out. But, um, hold on a second, I've got crap everywhere in front of this mouse. My mouse pad is a note sheet. Anyway, um, so let's take a look at, uh, Major Heart on City, which has a population of, you know, 100,000, and he's got half a million dollars in the bank. You can see some of the stuff here. See the dent density of the uh, apartment buildings and you can see why his the layout of his city has got things laid out a little bit differently than I do we've got uh, large commercial sectors over here highly dense commercial sectors where's the residential oh there's some more lots and lots of commercial sectors that's a residential there's like the slums where all the crappy apartments are but no he picked a nice spot because it's just like a blank square that he can work with what is this this is an oil well that's cool baseball park abandoned uh, industri industrial building high-tech industrial buildings Small ta small little towns. Community college. And a train. What's this? Trade depot. Oh, I guess. Okay. Looks like, yeah. I see. Got a fire going on. I wonder. I, this stuff doesn't happen in real time. No, it doesn't. Because. Yeah, they are just continually hosing down that fire. Yeah, pretty cool city there. Zoom down and see all these people here. Has simoleons and is leaving the city. Good for him. All right, so let's go check out the other city now. Is there like a quick way 
that I can get back to the regional view. Well, we're about to see because I hit a button and the screen turned black. So, whatever. Anyway, after our political fundraiser, I was having beers with one of the guys who uh, is helping out with the campaign, and he's a little bit older than me. Uh, well, five years older than me. And, you know, we're just sitting and chatting after uh, after beers, and we're having a good conversation. And, you know, we were talking to him about, uh, okay, let's go to this guy's next town. I think How Do You Abandon has no people living here. Uh, let's go to Minersburg, which is a population of 20,000. So anyway, no, we're having conversations. We're, we're just talking about, uh, you know, different things. And, you know, I was talking uh, with him that I, I felt like some of the people in our communications team were being uh, a little bit standoffish. And I, I couldn't tell if they had, like, a problem with me or something along those lines. And he was, like, telling me, he's like, don't worry. Uh, no one's got a problem with you. The thing about you, though, is that you're, you're hard to read apparently because we were I was joking with him that he's like so transparent in his body language and you can always tell what's on his mind and you always tell what he's thinking about something and he's like you're like the exact opposite like just like I mean most of the time you guys well you can't see my body language and when you do it's in a very you know condensed period of time but he's like you're just you're just so hard to read that no one ever really knows what the hell's what the hell you're thinking or what's on your mind I thought that was interesting because I mean no one's ever uh, really told me that before, but then again, no one's ever told me that I was easy to read either, so. They gave me f some, some food for thought, but I think I should keep it that way. I should keep it uh, as uh, being maintaining a difficult-to-read posture. So here we go. Here's Minersburg. I like this side right here. It's all like the uh, high-density residential buildings. Vacant business. They've got large industrial mills here, too. On this side. And he has some crazy road systems going on. And he's got $8,000, but he's in the hole significantly. Like this on the hill right here. The coal mine on top of the hill. Yeah, ferry terminal closed by the mayor. What's this thing? Yes, I know that that's the Dixon residence. Oh, that's an ore mine, okay. So, very cool. And now, let's go back to uh, Stalingrad. I think we'll just uh, skip through this loading screen. Oops, okay. Well, we're back. Uh, back in Stalingrad. Apparently, a uh, neighboring mayor has uh, come by to join uh, in the festivities. So, we've done a little bit of work since we last convened. Uh, mainly, I've greatly expanded the industrial sector. As well as we've managed to uh, get some really high-value uh, buildings set up here. So got some great, like, uh, rich, uh, rich people's buildings or whatever. We've, we've even got our first mansion here at Peak Estate. Got yet another, you know, fancy high rise going up. But yeah, we've uh, expanded a lot. The good old gas and wash. But I've also, uh, besides that, expanded residential sections uh, as much as I possibly could. Because they just kept demanding more and more residential sections. So I was like, okay man, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll give all the residential sector, sections I possibly can. 
and it's still not enough. My residential demand is still extraordinarily high. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I guess we'll, we'll see as time goes on if we can find some way to, uh, you know, get more people to move in. And I assume the best way to do that is through increasing city density, which, uh, you know, happens over time. Looks like we're going to have uh, some of these start to evolve, I guess you could say, into... Well, there goes uh, one of the nice and uh, residential. Oh God, what is this? Astro astronomers uh, born of a pending meteor strike. Well, that's no good. Oh my god, what is going on? What, what was that in the sky? Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, my buildings. Oh no, oh, it's a slaughterhouse. Oh, so many people are dying. fire department is out in full force but we've got to uh... oh no I lost the clinic so with that though we're gonna have to rebuild the clinic small fires are everywhere that's very sad can I uh, recruit firemen from nearby areas? Oh, that's a true great site. Uh, no. Oh no, that's volunteering fire trucks to other areas. We've got no road connections to the city. Anyway, unfortunately, uh, other people are going to have to volunteer their firefighters to us. Which hopefully they will do at some point. But, we've got to rebuild that clinic. Actually, maybe it's just better if we uh, build a hospital somewhere instead. right over this residential sector. Because even though we need more and more residential... Oh, what's this? All oh, right, a fabulously wealthy uh, super apartment. That's great. Oh, okay, anyway, back to the changes that we've made. Um, we've also destroyed all the sewage pipes and refocused them into a sewage treatment plant, which now I've also moved a bunch of residential buildings over here to what I'm calling the slums, which is right beside the uh, sewage treatment plant, all living in crappy houses. And, uh, well, they needed to you know, exist somewhere, and that's where they're existing for now. But, uh, yeah, we've really got to start, um, doing some things to increase density. And I'm trying to also increase, uh, wealth as well to get more 
you know, dollars and cents in the cash bank account. But there's another couple things we should do. We should probably move into here and, uh, I don't know, let's do, do some sports parks, man. Do the baseball field. Wow, that's a pretty badass baseball field. No, I'm trying to... There we go. Enjoy the park, you bastards. But uh, another story from our good old-fashioned NDP events that have, that have been, you know, going on. But, uh, no, well, we have two types of meetings, right? We've got our... Sorry, I talk about the NDP a lot because it's like, it's, I spend an awful lot of time <laughs> doing work for them. So it's on my mind a lot. But, um, all these poor people. Where is the shipping in this town? That's something we should do, actually. Because I've seen other people have, like, uh... Hey, okay, other people are volunteering uh, their fire trucks to me, because there's, uh, there's one from one of our neighboring cities. Okay. But anyway, yeah, we've got two types of meetings, right? We've got the election planning meetings. And uh, we've got the communications committee meetings, which, you know, I'm part of the communication teams. And I always enjoy the communication meetings immensely. What does this say? Which clinic? Are we talking about this clinic over here? Oh man, I didn't even know I had a clinic here. Look at that. But anyway, I always really enjoy the uh, election planning committee meetings. Because, I'm oh, sorry, I enjoy the communications committee meetings because the people there are, are great, you know, or work with a bunch of guys that are all around my age. And uh, it's a lot of fun. The election planning committee meetings, on the other hand, are awful. They are atrocious, and I hate them. And they take an eternity, and almost uh, very little that is productive ever gets actually done in them. Not enough high well shoppers. God damn it. find a way to increase our high wealth residents but uh, they're just so awful they're just so boring and um, I was talking with uh, this guy that I was having uh, drinks with and he's like you know even though most of the time you're pretty tough to read there was this one time during the election planning committee meeting where the guy next to me, his name is Bob and he's there he's our fundraiser he's in charge of fundraising well obviously uh, and he's yammering on about something and I've uh sitting and I'm right next to him and I'm leaning on my arm uh I have my he head leaning on my arm facing away from him obviously completely unaware of what's going on and I didn't even notice that I didn't even care about that at the time because you know I'm busy with other things but um it was just like the, this moment I just realized I'm like holy crap I, I can't believe you know uh I was that rude to someone who was like right beside me. 
<coughs> Alright, sorry about that. I had to take a, a quick break. Um, whoops. Shit. Because, um, I need to clear, I need to clear my throat. And, um, the one thing about this microphone is that there's no mute button on it. So, I didn't want to, like, hack and cough into the, uh, microphone. But, uh, what are you gonna do? So I took a quick break. That's what you, that's what I did. That's what you're gonna do. So I want to see some of the breakdown of my, uh, visitors okay well we're slowly moving away from low wealth buildings for the most part except for these guys all in the slums I should give them something I should give them they You guys can have a really friggin' nice... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a university. Um... Yes, giving them a park or something. You guys can have a plaza, in fact. In fact, you can have a floral plaza, like right there. Does that not blow your guys' mind? And if it doesn't, it really should. I wonder if that'll actually encourage any of these houses. Oh, look at that. They're already sp spreading into the medium wealth houses. Was not I was not expecting that at all, actually. Take that, crappy residential buildings. Hop in Though I definitely do like, we definitely have like a urban, suburban sort of divide, I guess, going on here. Because you can see in the center here, there's far more uh, urbanization. Whereas you kind of move out into the other parts of the area. You definitely get more and more uh, smaller houses. Like these poor bastards. Was the Simpson residents. They're educated. Um, we need a place for a community college. Sadly, there's not a lot of places for community colleges. Hey, we've even got buses coming in to help. Alright. Because it would be nice to get some real education going on here. I might have to destroy more residential lands. Oh, that's really sad. Alright, bye residential. Sims are actually more in tune to the problems around them. They'll pay special attention to things like pollution, crime, and fire. Smart Sims won't put up with it. Should put another police station somewhere. Put it in the slums, because they need it.
Yeah, I know there's a worker shortage. We're trying to fix it. Are these places increasing density? No, they're not. Extension wing? We really don't need an extension wing for the college we just built. Dude, I... Stop asking me to zone more residential. I just can't. Well, I can, actually. But it's like, in really shitty places. Okay, well, we're getting rid of, uh, the low-class buildings in town, one by one. I like how all the students are just chilling out on the roof. Yeah, we just built a university, so... It's okay, guys. Just calm down. Oh, I should probably build some bus stops in these new residential areas. I should volunteer. Uh... What are, what do these purple lines mean? One school bus connection. School bus connection. Bus connection. Okay, well, I am going to... Go around and... Oh, okay, I can only... Okay, well, these guys, they can have all my fire trucks if they need them. And... Okay, well, I think that looks like it's, uh... Well, all we're going to do right now, so let's resume. Yeah, I know there's a worker shortage. Believe me, I'm keenly aware of our worker shortage. What I really want are some of these cities in this area to start picking up what does our city specialization do? Drilling, trading, electronics, culture, and gambling. Um, 
Oh, train depot. Mining. Oil. Electronics. Well, I could do that if I had enough money. Expo Center. Hmm. Interesting. Or I can friggin' go into gambling. You know, let's make Stalingrad a gambling city. Well, we'll put our gambling, uh, don't want to put it like right beside the, wow. Okay, I'm going to erase that park that's completely useless. I'll do it. Okay, good. All right. Make sure there isn't a long...